good morning. Welcome to the presentation of data-driven instruction. Hello, I am Janella Booker, new teacher support coordinator. Data by itself is useless. Data is only useful if you apply it by Todd Park. The agenda for today is what is data-driven instruction? What are the benefits of data-driven instruction? Using multiple data sources, the five elements of data-driven instruction, how to use data to drive instruction, and resources. What is data-driven instruction? Data-driven instruction is an, is an educational approach that involves gathering multiple data sources for the students in the classroom and using that information to make informed decisions to improve the quality of teaching and learning in the classroom. What are the benefits of data-driven instruction? The benefits of data-driven instructions are when teachers monitor student progress and utilize graphs to track data over time, teachers attain an ongoing assessment of student performance and can better customize their teaching to meet student learning needs. Teachers are able to identify the trends and use the data to create flexible groups. Restructure your groups every six to eight weeks. Teachers can differentiate the instruction and reteach skills students have not mastered. Teachers can also use the data to identify at risk students. Their teachers are closing the academic achievement gaps. Students are aware of the skills they have and have not mastered. Using multiple data sources. Using multiple data sources includes end of grade tests, in a, in a course data, beginning of grade three, English language arts reading assessment, reading and math map data, school net data, mastery connect data, student work samples, attendance data, report card data, and behavior data. The five elements of data-driven instruction. Step one, collect your data. Step two, analyze your data. Step three, make instructional decisions. And step four, plan. Step five, reflect. Now we're gonna talk about the five elements of data-driven instruction more in detail. When you collect your data, create a folder for each student to organize their data. Create a data notebook and tracker to organize students' data. Number two, when you analyze data, data analysis can provide a snapshot of what students know, what they should know, and what can be done to meet their academic needs. Step three, make instructional decisions. Teachers will use the students' data to create flexible groups and change their instruction if needed. Step four, this is a time to plan. Please establish a code system to identify the flexible groups. You can use red for students who are working two to three grade levels below, yellow for students that, that are working one or two grade levels below grade level, and green almost in the students that's almost on grade level. Step five, reflect. Teachers will review their data on a weekly basis to determine if they need to reteach certain skills or make changes in their instructions for the following week. How to use data to drive instruction. Using data to drive instruction, you wanna look for trends in the data to plan whole class lessons. Example, look at an assessment and identify the questions, the questions majority of the students answered incorrectly and reteach the skills. Two, look at individual scores to form small groups. For example, 
Once you have reviewed the overall data, then it's time to form the small groups based on the trends in the data. Step three, collect additional data on a regular basis. This will help you make informed decisions regarding restructuring your small groups based on students' progress. And here are a few resources that you can use as you are learning how to use data to drive your instruction. Thank you so much for participating in this PD to learn how to use data to and drive your instruction. I am Janella Booker, new teacher support coordinator. My email address is janella.booker at cms.k2.nc.us. Please reach out to me if you have questions, if you would like for me to follow up with you to give you additional support with implementing data-driven instruction in your classroom. Have a wonderful day.